artist is going to merge the acoustic sounds that Woodsong's listeners are used to hearing with uh, Nirvana and Marilyn Manson and sort of a background of uh, gothic chamber rock cello music that is just very, I found it to be very, very exciting. They're here, they're going to do a song from a CD called Oh Perilous World. It's a great song called 1816. Please welcome Rasputina to the Woods Songs, Old Time Radio. From their CD, Oh Perilous World, Rasputina. And let's say hi to uh, Melora Krieger. She's playing first cello, doing the main vocals. Melora, we weren't, we weren't being facetious or far-fetched when we were bringing up Nirvana and Marilyn Manson. I mean, this is part of your musical background. I mean, actually, really. Yes, it is. That must have been a lot of fun for you to be able to stretch from, uh, I guess you learned 
classical cello when you were younger, right? Yeah, when I was a child, I studied classical. And so you're, you're taking the cello into these very avant-garde rock worlds. Mm -hmm. I mean, why? How? Um, I went to art school, and I think that's a fertile ground for music, even though it's not a music school. And uh, I think everyone loves the cello, and they have a really strong emotional response to the cello. Yeah. So I was asked to play in bands and got the idea of I made a rock band out of cellos where people could actually hear them, that uh, that would be something good. I think the audience loves it myself. <laughs> Definitely. Rasputina, tell me about the name. Tell me the history of the name. Um, well, Rasputin was the mad monk of Russia during Tsar Nicholas's time, and uh, he was unkillable, and uh, he pretended to be a peasant and manipulated the royal family, and I thought if I feminized that, adding an A, that it would imply that we had such great powers. Uh, I bet you're dangerous on a date. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the music is pretty fascinating. I think to people just hearing you for the first time, I mean, it is a genuinely kind of a new thing that you're doing. And, and I think it's, it, it must have been a, a lot of uh, imagination work before you were actually able to put this trio together to really f formulate in your mind how you wanted this to sound, two cellos and a drummer. And it took a long time to, for us to sound good. Like It took years to figure out you know, amplification and to get the, you know, good skills of playing and singing. Well, you've got good musicians. Jonathan Tabist on drums, Sarah Bowman playing second <laughs> cello. And as we, as we come back to you, uh, Melora, what I'd like to do is talk about your look. Now, to the radio audience, that'll seem a little bit odd, but, <laughs> but the look of Rasputin is as important as the, the music in many ways. So, yeah. so music, like you said, your art school background brought a visual to what you're doing. We're going to get to talk about that, too. But let's 